This is Joseph Adenuga welcoming you to I Prevail with Joseph Adenuga. As you may have known, every day God puts a word in my mouth and I send it via so many avenues. One of the avenues is this podcast. And I believe this is going to bless you today. Today I want to talk about seven things God cannot do. Do you know there are some things God cannot do? We always say that God can do all things, and that is true. But there are some other things that God cannot do. Today, I want us to look at those things that God cannot do. I have identified seven things that God cannot do. Briefly, let me tell you those seven things. Number one, God cannot lie. Number two, God cannot fail. Number three, God cannot change. Number four, God do not repent. Or go back on his word. Number five, God cannot die. Number six, God cannot sin or, you know, God cannot allow sin. He does not allow sin. He cannot clear the sinful one except that person repents and forsakes his sin. And the last one, God cannot die. These are the seven things God cannot do. Let's look at it one by one. Number one, God cannot lie. The Bible says it is impossible for God to lie. In fact, in another place, the Bible says, God is not a man that he should lie. In fact, another place, God, the Bible says, God that cannot lie, I've promised. So God cannot lie. This is something God cannot do. God cannot lie. For the simple fact that whatsoever he says must be. Whatever he says, it may look as if it is not. But as soon as he says it, it must be. And that is why in the book of Romans, the Bible says, God, collect those things that be not as though they were. Whatever God says must be. If God said something that was not there, because of the simple fact that he has said it, that thing must be there. You see, God cannot lie. That's the first thing you have to understand. That is the reason why you can rely on his word. You understand? Number two, God cannot change. He does not change. Malachi chapter 3 I think it's verse 6. He said, I am the Lord. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8. He said, Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. He cannot change. He does not change. He said, I am the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That is my memorial forever. You see, that is my name forever. The reason is that he does not change. He cannot change. He's always the same. He's always God. You see, he's always bigger than any mountain. He's the ancient of days. He's the everlasting father. He does not change. Number three, you have to understand, God cannot fail. Luke chapter 1 verse 37 says, With God, nothing shall be impossible. Meaning God can do all things. If he can do all things, then it means he cannot fail. In Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 17 says, Ah, Lord God, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm, and there is nothing that is too difficult for you. If nothing is difficult for him, it means he cannot fail. God cannot fail. It is impossible for God to fail. In fact, in verse in verse twenty seven of that Jeremiah chapter thirty two, he says, "I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me to do?" God cannot fail. That's number three. Don't forget it. Man may fail you, your husband, your wife, your your brother, your sister, your father, your mother. Your uncle, your boss may fail you, but God cannot fail. When everyone else fail, God cannot. These are things that God cannot do. And number four, don't forget this. God cannot die. 
Many people's dreams have been shattered because somebody they loved died. Many people's dream has been destroyed because somebody they loved passed on. Some people forgot their dream and they could not go further because they lost somebody that was so dear to them. I've seen people who resign to abject poverty because somebody promised, I'll give you some money to start business and the person died. And so they felt there was no other person that could help them. And that was the end of their lives. They stopped, you know, trying. Because somebody died, their whole destiny was consumed with the death of that person. But not God. God has promised to help you. And he cannot die. He has promised never to leave you nor forsake you. And he cannot die. Another thing God cannot do, God cannot sin and God cannot favor a sinner. God cannot look at sin. The Bible says his eyes are pure than to behold sin. So God cannot sin. He cannot sin. He cannot condole sin. And that is why he calls for repentance. And that is why Jesus Christ came to this world to die for our sins. So the only thing God requires of us is to repent and confess that sin so that we can be forgiven because God cannot look at our sin. You must understand this. And that thing you must understand is that God loves us so much that God cannot forsake you. He cannot forget you. This is one thing you must understand. A man may forget you. They may plan you out of their program. This number 16, you must remember, God cannot forget you. God cannot forsake you. Isaiah 49, 14 to 16, where people of Israel say, my God has forsaken me, and my God has forgotten me. And God asks a question, and the question is, can a woman forget her sucking child, that she will not have compassion on the son of her womb? And the answer came, they may forget. But God said, I will not. God cannot forget you. It doesn't matter how many people have forsaken you. It doesn't matter how many people have left you. It doesn't matter how many people don't like you. But one thing that is very sure, God cannot forget you. He cannot forsake you. And the last point, what God cannot do, God cannot repent. Meaning God cannot go back on his word. God does not change his mind. Once God says, I will bless you, he will bless you. That's why he says in that Numbers 23, he said, God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. Meaning he does not go back on his promises. He does not go back on his word. Once he promised to bless, once he promised to do something, he do it. God never fails. We are the ones that fail. He does not go back on his promises. We are the ones that fail the condition of the promises. These are the seven things God cannot do. When you know this thing, it will help you to relate with God even more. It will help you to relate with him even better. And this is the word that God put in my mouth this morning. And thank you so much for listening to this. May God bless you and increase you and make you great upon the earth. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Thank you for listening. Please rebroadcast this to your friends and loved ones. Get somebody blessed. Share this on Twitter, on Facebook. Share it with your friends everywhere. And they will be blessed. And God will bless you for sharing this with them. Thank you so much once again. My name is Joseph Adenuga. I'm the pastor of Prevailing Church of Christ. Signing out this morning and saying to you, be blessed and remain blessed.